everyone and welcome to the Heartland. My name is Tara Miller and I'm so excited to be with you today. I want to thank you for joining us on our very first episode of Day in the Life. Throughout this series, we're going to cover a few of the many jobs and industries throughout the Midwest. Today, we're going to join up with my cousin Vinny to cover the day in the life of a dairy farmer. Vinny, Susie, so we are southwest of Lincoln on your way to Denton. And how long has this farm been in the family? Been in the family since the late 60s, but it's been a dairy farm since 1999. My grandpa, his grandpa, ended up starting the dairy farm. Hmm. And so, like I said, it's, I'd be the fifth generation. His dad milked cows, and then my grandpa milked cows all his life. And then I had the opportunity to take over for him and been doing that ever since. So. And how many years have you been working on the dairy farm? Well, literally, I mean, I've we've lived here, I've lived here since 1997. So when I was a kid, I was always down at the barn helping out, grab from milk cows, yeah. feed calves. What's your favorite part of running and owning a dairy farm? I'd have to say just getting to know the cows, I guess. There's Cows have personalities, kind of like your dog, I guess, would have a personality. Yeah. Um, and also, just there's a lot of things to do on a farm. So if you get bored with one thing, you can go off and do another. There's always people stopping in, saying hi. Yeah. So there's always action around here. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your typical chores and kind of what we're going to be joining you on tonight? Um, I'll be showing you um, when we bring the cows in. Um, I'll be separating some cows. So I have some cows that are going to be calving. Mm -hmm. So we'll be separating them, uh, milking the remainder of the cows feeding calves, and feeding cows. And what type of cows are you working with here? Holsteins. Awesome. And why Holsteins? Why do you like Holsteins as a dairy cow? Uh, they produce more milk uh, than the average uh, Holste or, uh, dairy cow. Just uh, natural uh, prairie grass that they eat. They get uh, two months um, off um, right before they calve. Okay. And um, that gives them time to put most of their energy into their calf, uh, developing the calf, and then once they calve, they're ready to be back in the milk line. And um, like I said, in the summertime, they go out in the pasture and they uh, get to relax during the day. And then they come out in the evening, they get milked, um, and then also in the morning. I heard that some other farmers, like big commercial dairy farm cows, can only live about five years, where yours are up in the high teens, like 15 to 20 years. Why do you think you take such great care of your calves? Well, I, I'd have to say it's probably more of a natural thing. They're, they're able to be more of a cow, I guess. They can go out to the pasture and, and just roam compared to other dairy farms. They're in a barn, you know, they don't really see the light of day. Now let's talk about the love you have for your cows. You don't just name them number one, number 10, number 20. Talk to us about how you name your cows. Sometimes we have to name them after people we know, mm -hmm. uh, which they love. I don't know, it adds more to their character, mm -hmm. I guess you can say. Yeah. So anytime I'm running low on names, I guess I can get on Facebook or Snapchat and just go down the list and pick them off. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I heard there's a few of them that are named after ex-girlfriends and it's kind of sad when they die. Uh, yeah, possibly, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. But an another thing is you guys do not butcher your dairy cows. You take care of them till as old as they get and you just, they're kind of like family pets. You're really attached to them. Yep. Um, kind of talk a little bit about that. The average is about 10 years is how long we keep them. We've had people buy them for uh, family pets, yeah. or uh, some people buy them for um, if they have a couple calves that they need to feed. Oh yeah. Um, they'll just put the cow out there, and then the, they'll feed the calf. And awesome. So they always have a second life, I guess you can say. So there's also a rumor that you spend way more money on your cows than you do yourself. Talk about that, because that's love. I'd have to say that's easy to do. Yeah. It, it's a lot of money that goes into their belly to make milk. Yeah. And let's talk briefly about how Holstein's aren't made to put on weight. So sometimes people see the cows and they think, oh, they're all skin and bones, but really they're not genetically made to put on fat and all of their kind of genetics puts their energy into producing milk and not actual mass. The cow will put most of its food mm -hmm. into milk instead of into uh, weight. And uh, you know, like I said, they get milk twice a day. 
Um, everything they eat, you know, it's mainly goes into milk production. And that's just how their body does it, just naturally. That's how yeah. they're made. Yeah, and they have to be milked. Like, mm -hmm. if I was to sell them to somebody and, and they didn't milk them, um, it can become a health issue to the cow. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we are excited for our day on the farm or our afternoon on the farm with you. So thanks for having us. I'm really appreciative. Not a problem. Yeah. Well, let's go to it, huh? All right. Let's Start. All right, we're here in Vinny's kitchen just to touch on a little bit of history. Vinny, will you tell us about this newspaper article? Uh, yeah, my grandpa, he ended up, he always loved uh, reading the newspaper, the Journal Star, of course. He called the Journal Star and had them come out and do a story on us. And uh, this was back in 1999, so this is right the same year that uh, we uh, started. Oh. And uh, so, yeah, it kind of goes through the day-to-day -day process of everything. and and uh, gets to sh it shows me as a little kid, I guess. You and Grandpa, is that who's in yeah. here? Yeah. That's me and the calves and all that stuff, so yeah. Nice. Wearing plaid and blue jeans back then, you're wearing plaid and blue jeans today. Yes. <laughs> Consistency. Oh yeah. Nice, awesome. Well, should we go do some chores? Let's do it. Vinny, where are we at? Uh, we're down at the dairy barn. Uh, I guess you can say this is where all the fun happens. Yeah. Twice a day, seven days a week. We milk 40 cows, and it takes about four hours per milking. Well, I'm excited. You're going to walk us through and kind of tell us what we're doing, right? Yep. Let's do it. All right. disinfecting everything. Okay. Uh, the milk truck came this morning, picked up our milk. Yep. And uh, uh, we have a machine that disinfects the bulk tank mm -hmm. and then um, any components that go along with the milking process gets disinfected. Yep. So you're um, using some hot water, a toothbrush, a scrubber. Yep. So scrubbing the, uh, I guess you can say the spigot to the bulk tank. Okay. Um, they, uh, they test everything for like bacteria and whatnot. So any extra precaution you could take to keep things clean is a good thing. Yeah. This thing, I guess, disinfects the entire system okay. and it has a chemical reaction with the hot water that breaks down anything that builds up in the lines. Okay. When we're milking the cows, the milk will go into this bubble, this glass bubble here. Okay. And it flows from there. It's got a pump and it pushes the milk into this line here. Mm -hmm. And then that goes through a filter and it goes into the tank and then the tank cools the milk. Okay. Because I believe it's it's like 99 degrees, I think, when it comes out of the cow, wow. and it cools it down to about 37 degrees. Awesome. Um, every other day, the milk truck comes and picks up the milk. Um, we kick out about 2,000 pounds every other day, so about 1,000 pounds a day. And uh, the milk truck will have a line come in through the wall, and it connects to the tank. Okay. And then it's got a pump on the truck, and the truck will pump out all the milk and it takes roughly oh, eight minutes to empty the tank. Perfect. And so what are we going to go do next? I'm going to get the cows in okay. and we will be milking cows in 10 minutes. Sweet. Let's do it. This is the, I guess you can say, the milk room. Okay. Uh, we milk three at a time. Um, it roughly takes 10 minutes per cow. I just go out with the four-wheeler. Um, we bring, they're pretty much trained. Once they hear that four-wheeler, they, they start walking for the gate. They're ready to go. Yeah. Now they just come in, they chew their cud. And Which, what is cud for people who don't know? They, it's anything that they eat. Okay. And then when a cow gets bored, it's kind of like if you want to chew some gum. Yeah. Uh, they regurgitate. It doesn't sound cool, but yeah. yeah, they regurgitate and then they chew up whatever was in their stomach. They come in, they chew their cut, and they just have this look of they're really bored and and uh, they're ready to 
keep moving. And no discomfort, no pain. No. Actually, to tell you the truth, like I said, when a cow chews their cud, it usually means that they're relaxed. So that that's a sign that when they come in, they're relaxed and yeah. and they're enjoying themselves, I guess. That's cool. I didn't know that. And so all you have to do is hook it up to the cow and let it do its thing. Or yep, how much? Yeah, you uh, you just disinfect the cow's teats. Okay. Um, you strip each quarter to make sure that the milk will flow. When the cow's teat goes into the milker, it's a continuous vacuum. Mm -hmm. And then there's a side vacuum right here that causes the rubber on the inside to squeeze together so it kind of forms like a hand. Mm -hmm. So with the, the, the vacuum and the squeezing at the same time, it forces the milk to flow out of the cow and into the, the lines. Wipe everything off, make it clean. and Yeah. And Yes, and then they're out the, out the door and ready for the next set. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope this was educational and you learned something. Vinny and I are going to hang out here till the cows come home, but I hope you had fun. Oh yeah, I did and I think the cows did too. So with that, I want to thank you. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Comment below. Ask us any questions. If you have any direct questions for Vinny, I'll field those. Pass them along. Maybe we can have a Q&A later or something. But uh, you guys take care and look forward to our next Day in the Life video.